Hey, what's going on? This is Sports Vibes TV. I'm your host, Keith, and we've had a pretty uneventful trade deadline for the New York Knicks. And I'm fine with it. Uh, the Terrence Ferguson trade, it went down earlier today. Uh, I didn't know originally that we were going to have a second round pick. And it sucks to see Iggy go. But what I'm really happy about is the fact that Lonzo Ball wasn't traded at all. Now, a lot of you said correctly that Lonzo Ball would not be moved. And I just want to give kudos to you for getting that one correct. I wanted us to trade for Lonzo if he were going to be shipped off to, let's say, the Chicago Bulls. Because I believe wholeheartedly that the Chicago Bulls would have extended. Well, they can't extend it, but they would have re-signed him in the offseason. The fact that now he's staying with the Pelicans, I think we have a much higher shot now of signing him in free agency. However, keep an eye on the situation over there in New Orleans because he's a restricted free agent and I can definitely see the Pelicans in the offseason trying to, you know, hold out and force the Knicks, not force, but try to negotiate the Knicks into completing a signing trade. Signing trades right now are more prevalent in the NBA than they were previously. So I can definitely see that option. But I think right now this is the best case scenario for the Knicks. Because even if the Knicks, even if the Pelicans were to decide to match or threaten to match in order to get us to negotiate, the Knicks would still have a lot of leverage. Because if Lonzo were to agree to our offer sheet, we would be basically you know the only ones that could negotiate that trade so there's a lot more leverage as opposed to us having to negotiate against the bulls against the nuggets other teams that were rumored to be involved because you know you don't really know what they're offering at least if it's just us and the pelicans david griffin can't you know pull a fast one on us and, and get that swindle because you know griffin and presti are both swindlers presti got like like 30 something picks I'm like, yo, how is that even allowable? They're going to change something in the CBA. They're going to make sure you can't go out there and hoard picks like that because there's no way you're going to fit all them picks on your roster. They got to figure that out over there. But more power to them. They got a whole bunch of assets to move. And hopefully the Knicks can continue to do the same thing. We got this extra second from the Ferguson deal. Who knows what else might happen in the offseason. But I'm okay with the trajectory of the team. I'm okay with Leon Rose being patient and not being forced into a deal too soon. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think the Knicks were correct in not making a deal quickly for Lonzo Ball? No, no pun intended seeing that ball and quickly both in the same position. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. See, I'm over here cracking corny jokes and it completely threw me off. So like I said, let me know down in the comments. Once again, I'm Keith, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm out.